So this is going to be a quick little exercise to get us to start practice using the colliders and start writing some scripts so that we can use them in our games. They're the basis for all the video games we play. So in this case, uh, I want you to just create a new scene um, where you can actually use the scene you have if you want. Um, I created the plane, so game object, 3D object, plane. And it has a mesh collider on it. I then just created a cube. And let's move it up some. And I named it player. And I put a box collider on the cube. So, and a rigid body. Let's try it without there. No, no, we need the rigid body. I have the rigid body on it because I want it to fall. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't need it. But I, for this little lesson, I need it to fall. So I have a rigid body with gravity on it and my box collider. Let's take a look at my script. You can call it whatever you want, but we are going to write a um, on collision enter uh, function. So this means we're colliding, and usually this says collision um, and then collision. But I'm going to go ahead and say we're colliding with something called the enemy. So um, you can call this whatever you want. But whatever we put down here is what's going to show when we uh, collide with it. So in this case, I'm just going to print this in the console. I want to know when it collides with it and see what happens. So I'm going to print collide with, in this case, the enemy game object name. So whatever the name of the game object is. So um, whatever we name it. So in this case, it's called enemy. And let's go to our console. Remember, we have gravity on this. And let's see what happens. Collided with enemy. So we came down, and our two colliders hit. So that way, we realize if we start colliding with different objects in our car game or any game, we can start writing scripts to have different things happen. Now let's rename this to just Battleground. See what happens. And let's collide again. So it's going to put down whatever we collided with. So if we look at our script again, whatever we name um, that object that we're colliding with, and our players colliding with um, is going to have um, the uh, it's going to print that in our script. So it would then realize that I've collided with whatever we want to call it, an enemy, a spaceship, whatever, and it's going to know it collided with that. Now let's do one other quick thing, and let's see what happens when we uncheck our box collider. So if we come down here and make this a trigger. And we start using on trigger enter. Let's see what happens. So when we click on trigger enter, uh, is trigger, when we click is trigger, it's going to go through the object. Now this may be the case where we have a finish line or something where you go past something or hit something, but you want a another event to happen, like saying you're finished or you won. You don't want to collide with it. You want to have that invisible line you go through and have something happen. That's when we use is trigger. So we'll be using this uh, quite a bit to destroy things and do other things. So we don't want to collide with certain things, we want to destroy them. So go ahead, I want you to practice this script, um, fool around with it some, um, change these around a little bit, fool around with the trigger, and we'll do on trigger enter next.